what's up everybody welcome back to the channel and we're finally back dude it took me so long to fix my my computer but we should be back in business we will see um today we're checking out stevie ray Vaughan. i just feel like uh checking out more and more of guitarists that you guys have been introducing me uh introducing me to but stevie ray Vaughan, we have checked out on the channel before I talked about in those videos, I was very aware that Stevie Ray Vaughan was the greatest guitarist because my brothers would tell me that over and over again growing up. And uh, my two oldest brothers, uh, and what the, the second one, right, uh, rest in peace, he passed away last year from cancer. One of my, my fondest memories as a child was, listen, was listening to them sing, how'd it go? That's how it happens, living life by the drop. I remember them singing that as a kid over and over. Um, you can see the guitars there in the back. I did grow up playing guitar, but I only stuck to my thing, metal. I was playing Metallica, Megadeth, neoclassical metal. That's all I did. And that's all I did until I was 14 years old. And that's where like my guitar playing stopped. I became a singer in school for some reason. And so then I, I picked up more of like the acoustic and acoustic playing and, and singing like, you know, like Jack Johnson and whatnot. So I, I missed out on on learning just how good blues guitar was. So finally checking out Steve Ray Vaughan on the channel, Joe Bonamassa, all of this has really enlightened me and it's making me want to pick up the guitar again. So today's video was also sponsored by one of you. Thank you, Roy, for the for the donation for this one. Check out very young Stevie Ray Vaughan. Okay. Stevie Ray Vaughan at the first Tornado Jam, Lubbock, Texas, May 11th, 1980. Let's, let's check it out. Thank you guys so much for clicking on the video and hanging out with me. He wasn't even wearing the, the fedora hat yet. Jeez, yes. What the heck just happened? Okay. Was that like the intro to the to the set? We have a chick who's practically naked right here in the front. Go through the comment section to just be like, what was going on here? It was a phenomenon. I was at this concert. Oh, here we go. Yes.
Okay, hold on a sec. So this is like someone's handheld camera in 1980. Like as they were transitioning over from being close to him, right? We were hearing mostly just his amp. Now we're finally picking up the bass. And this was in 1980. And it... This sounds pretty freaking great, dude. So that's cool. Um, I I saw this uh, short on Instagram come. Uh, it's not called a short. What are they called in Instagram? Whatever. One of those things. And John Mayer talked about like his first uh, tattoo being that the SRV, which the V, they accidentally made a U on his guitar, but he kind of just went with it. So John Mayer put that because Stevie Ray Vaughan was his hero. But it's just cool to see like early on, he already had that like branding and whatnot. I don't know if you guys are Jordan Peterson fans, but he said something that I think actually applies to blues and blues guitar like this. He talks about how uh, when he goes and speaks in public, he tries to not have like written speeches because what we're there, you know, the reason why we attend these life performances at times is that we just want to witness spontaneity. Is that, is that how you say that? I feel like Zion Williamson trying to say it was a bit of a so somehow with this not being rote, but spontaneous, it kind of connects you and draws you into the audience that much more. <laughs> How is he wearing a jacket in Texas in May? Wow. How do they not get lost? <laughs> Let's go, dude. <laughs> He's gonna be so going, dude. Okay. I'm cutting them off yet again. There are no rules in blues, right? Except for the beat and the tempo. So that's why I think like, all right, the blues, especially this, what he's playing right now, it's like, what the freak is happening? But because it's still in tempo and somehow they're still in unison, all of the instruments, it sounds freaking awesome. So it's like, there are no wrong notes unless you're beat, but at least you just have to be playing at the same, the same rhythm. I'm trying to pretend like I know more than I do, by the way, here. All I know is that I'm having a good time. You bad, Stevie. You bad. Did he remove the middle pickup? Look at that, dude. Look at everybody just. So that's what I mean, dude. Everyone look like. I feel like I feel like my parents would have been like, this is just noise. And like, in a way, it kind of is, but it's beautiful noise. But look how captivated people are, dude. I've said it in every, vi like, I feel like I've said this in every video we've checked out of like, with, with like Stevie Ray Vaughan and whatnot. But I regret so much what I used to prioritize what a good guitar player was. Like, so I used to think like Yngwie Malmsteen, right? Like that type of guitarist. That's what was good. Cause it was so are like accurate and, and fast. It's interesting as I've grown older, feeling, expressing one's emotions through the guitar has become now my you know at the top of my hierarchy of what it means to be a guitarist because then it's still saying something when you become too technical with a guitar uh, something's lost what is it is it that spontaneous creativity i don't know eager to hear your guys's thoughts but oh man that's just so cool to see Steve ray vaughn man
What a good, good way to start the week. Appreciate you guys for being here. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the guidance and teaching me about, you know, guitars like this. What do you, what do you think? Please respond to some of my, my thing. Again, you guys probably know way more than I do, so I'm eager to learn from you guys. Let's teach each other. Let's talk. And how lucky are we that we have all of these recordings so that we can continue to appreciate people like this? Much love, everybody. We'll see you guys soon.